Hi, this is a video of us looking at the Steam 2010 GUI beta. And some people don't know what the GUI beta is. Some people just don't want to go to it because I know Steam is buggy. But I assure you, this is totally worth it to update this. And watch the video in HD so you can see all the features better. And uh, what you'll notice here is that we have a new Steam icon. And the Steam icon looks phenomenal, by the way. And I'm just going to load it up. And it'll log into your Steam account if you're not already in Steam. And then you'll see contacting an account. And then, But this window now looks completely different. And it looks so much better. No thing, no theme that you'd ever get offline is better than this. Um, as soon as it opens up, it goes to your favorite page, which is the store for pretty much everybody. And they have their featured items, which you know is what they're just trying to sell. You can scroll through them, check what's out, check what's uh, going on, what came out. You can also see how many games gamers are online. Now this seems kind of pointless, but I, I think it's kind of cool. All your friends are still popping up down here, and uh, the storefront still looks kind of the same. It's just got some new colors and stuff, but right here is what I really like, the community activity area. It tells you what your friends have, have purchased, so you can go play with them. Like, Psycho now owns Counter, uh, I mean, Assassin's Creed 2, and Captain Skippy now owns Shattered Horizon. Now, I'll probably go play that with him as soon as he comes online, because I love that game. And now we have genres here that wasn't there before, so you can, you know... If you want to get a family gaming game, I don't know why you would, but, you know, sometimes they're fun, like Spore. And then these are just all the family game, uh, family games, and it lists how many are here, single player, multiplayer. And, uh, the demos is really cool. If you want to get a new game for free and you just want to kind of play it, you can just go get a demo here. Like, if I want the AV AVP demo, like, I want this. So you just get it, and then there's the download the demo. So you click download, and it'll pop up with uh, download. And the download, uh, the download sequence is pretty much the same. It's not any different. And now you can go to videos, and this is the same as like the media section, but you can browse like popular videos instead, like Spring Commander. That yeah, looks like a fun game. You should check that out. And uh, Orders Two, Mass Effect Two. And now in the news section, the news section is a new area that I think is really nice. If you just so you don't have to go through the, your web browser, you can just kind of grasp what's going on really quick here. And uh, the community has pretty much remained the same. You click the community button, it'll load. The community hasn't changed its looks ever, so this is all the same. It's just going through uh, the internet. And the library is where it gets really cool. You see, I went to download the AVP demo, and now it's downloading right there at 2.6 megabytes a second. And now, AVP demo right here, it says 36 friends have played the AVP demo. So now I know what friends have played this, and I can go, hey, want to go play this game with me? So that's a lot of fun, and it's a cool feature. And then Modern Warfare 2, I'll also tell you how much you've played on Counter-Strike, and then 205 friends have played Counter-Strike. Now there's buttons over on the right side as well as the update news, which is really nice to know. So if you're like, oh, contract just updated, what's that update? But if you click form, it'll open up your web browser, and they'll take you right to Steam's area on a, a Counter-Strike Source, and then client timed out. It, it takes you to the, the forums about Counter-Strike Source. Then there's news, store page, and support, and then, of course, there's the play button. And right here it says two friends are playing Call of Duty multiplayer right now. And you can right click on their name right here and click join game, just like if, if you were at the uh, the store. I mean, your friends list. And this is your downloaded media and your tool, which has pretty much remained the same. And your downloads. This is the cool area that I really like. It shows you what's actually downloading, and this is Modern Warfare 2. You can just click resume. <laughs> Excuse me. And it will, it will start downloading. And showed you graph and what they're downloading at. But in games, this is one more thing I forgot to mention. Aside from it listing all your games over on the left side and giving you a little picture in the background, which is really, really cool, um, you have views up here. You can go to list, and now it'll show you a list with a little icon on each thing. And also at the bottom, it says two items downloading. So you know if you're downloading something or whatever. And now there's a new icon. It's a little cloud. This represents the Steam Cloud. And what the Steam Cloud is, it saves your information to their servers. 
So, like, Modern Warfare 2, your character can save to your computer and save to their servers. So you can go to your friend's house, log in with your Steam account, and play Modern Warfare 2 at the same level and everything. Of course, you can change what you want to see and what you don't want to see with a right-click up at the status bar up here. And then one last thing is the grid view. It's pretty much the same thing as the other one, but it's just huge icons that are really cool to look at. Um, and of course, you can, you can change the size of these if you want to see, like, three huge rows, or if you just want to see as many games as possible. And then, one, we have the friends down at the bottom. You can view your friends. This is just another way to bring up your friends list. And in the friends list, it's still pretty much the same concept. You click on somebody, bring up a chat, blah, 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 done. And at the bottom... There's still a, uh, there's still add a friend. It comes up with the same thing. <laughs> and if you want to partake in this Steam beta, which I highly recommend, you want to go to settings account. Then under the beta participation, you want to click the little drop down box and hit uh, UI update. A couple other things in here. Everything has stayed the same in friends, in game, voice, but interface. I've noticed this. Um, there's set taskbar jump list, and I'm pretty sure this is only for Windows 7, but you click that and you can choose what jump list options you have. And if you don't know what the jump list is, it's where you right click on an icon down at the bottom. You can do this for anything, a chat window, just a Steam icon and a taskbar, and it gives you the jump list, and you can access the store, community, games, friends. You can even set your status and your friends to away. Like now, I am away. Have a waffle away. And now I can be online. So, I mean, I highly recommend getting this if you haven't already, because I thought that it would mess things up, but it doesn't. So, highly recommend it. I go check it out. And if you're having any problems with this, you can always click on the little beta icon up here. You click that, and it takes you to their forms, and you can uh, report bugs on this, or you know just post on it <laughs> so you can uh, try to get anything that's having problems fixed hi and now we're in counter-strike source and this is just for the in-game GUI I'm spectating a player right now and if you press your in-game menu mine is dash we have one friend on this game server you can view game info, but I'm already in this server, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So, you can view all friends from here, and it just takes you to your to your Steam menu. Just, uh, Steam games, and then you can view players, and this will take you to the your friends that are in the current game. Um, and then, of course, they have their news, Counter-Strike Source, update released, weekend deal, you can view all news on the game just opens up their Steam in-game browser and uh, that's on Counter-Strike Source only and then on playtime stats this is a really cool feature that I like current session which just means how long I've had the game open for I've had this game open for three minutes so far which I think is really nice to know so if I want to like only play for an hour so I can play for an hour and then get off without having to really keep track of time and then 125 total which kind of a lot, um, in 23 hours in the past two weeks. Then you have the view friends thing down at the bottom, it's another way to bring up your friends, uh, your friend menu. And also you have your web browser, which takes you to google.com, my stock, I'm not sure how to change your homepage in the web browser. Then you have settings, which takes you to a dumbed down version of the settings menu from outside the game, which just allows you to edit some key features of the end game menu, like display messages, your name. And we also have game groups, which will take you to groups related to Counter-Strike Source only. So you can join a group if you really want to. We also have the website, which just takes you right to the Steam website. So if you want to look at some games or something while you're spectating people. And then again, we also have forums. So you can take a look at the forums while you're waiting to play. And just in case you didn't know, you are playing Counter-Strike Source. And there's also click here to return to game, dash, keypad dash, closes the overlay, which you can also click. And then you're back in Counter-Strike, ready to play your game. I hope that you've learned some things from the Steam GUI, and I hope you update to it.